hi I want to update this post for 2016 I noticed that PayPal updated their website and I just want to be sure that the steps are still the same so let's go to paypal.com and if you want to sign up for an account sign up you will click on sign up so here you'll choose personal account if it's for you personal account which I'm assuming it is I'm assuming it is for you so you'll choose personal account then continue and then enter your information email address or uh, let me use one of my many email addresses arwahoa arwahoa at gmail dot commerce dot com and then input a password there make it strong then click continue and then enter all this information then once you're done you'll click on this to accept the agreement then you will agree and create account so I will see you in the next screen I will go offline and input some dummy details here so that I can get to the next screen so after filling all the details this is where you get to so initially you are able to skip this step right now I can see it is not possible so get your equity card I know equity is the only bank in Kenya right now at least as far as I know that directly allows you to withdraw your PayPal funds and therefore if you have your equity bank ATM card you'll need to put the ATM card number here not your bank account number the ATM card number and then you will put the CSC if you turn your equity bank ATM card around you will see there are seven numbers there so you'll take the last three digits and input them here and then your card number you'll put it there your card number not your bank account number so either MasterCard or Visa card is all right it doesn't really matter either of the two will do and then once you do that you'll just go next and you can actually use any bank you can use any bank card number here as long as it's a Visa or a MasterCard just put the numbers here and you'll add the card so I will see you in the next screen once I input these details so if you entered your number right you're in this page with me so if you're in this screen you can go to your account let's go to account So you need to activate if you go and open this email you'll need to activate your account just click on activate here so let's go to your settings here so the next thing that you need to do is to confirm your card and the way that you do this so I can see that things have really changed around here and let's say you want to add another card for another bank or you want to change your card what you will need to do is to click here on if you want to change your card or you want to link another card or you want to just remove one card altogether you'll click on bank account cards or you can go directly using wallet you will just click 
this or this let me click on this and once you get here you will see that you can link a bank account well I don't think this will work for in Kenya right now so just ignore this but you can link a card you can change the details of this card let's say I click on this so if I click on that you'll see I will still need to confirm this credit card by inputting a certain number so so once I click that and uh, they will charge a certain amount uh, usually it's about two dollars so that's about 200 shillings Kenyan shillings so have that in your bank account for this particular card so let me say okay or maybe the other issues I don't know what those are but if you have your equity bank card and you do this then you go the next day and check in your card you'll find four digit codes and use this code to come back into the wallet so let's say I click there if you come back the next day with your card and click again on this and then confirm card if you are able to charge successfully to your card then you'll click on confirm card and you'll get an option to input the four digit codes and that will confirm your card and you'll be able to do a better transaction okay that's how you get set up with PayPal in Kenya see you next time